there is no sound. There are no sounds. Uh, Flint's fixed. Yeah. There are people listening from every corner of this planet. No knowledge has been dispersed so beautifully, so balanced across the planet, on this planet ever. Maybe in the universe. You have the full potential of achieving everything in the universe. There is no need and there is no reason for my not to achieve. So, wherever you are, the way I taught you to make the coils double pull inside, you have continuous equal gravitational magnetic field, and if you put CO2 on it, and you put zinc on it, you have connected the emotion of the man to it on a stable condition, and you'll find out you become a very peaceful man. Here, Instead of having galaxies and universes and creating connection magnetically, we have used the matter state, gravitational magnetic field strength to dominate and dictate the shape of the plasma. The nano technology, the nano material which you have collectively developed in different ways by caustic, by electric currents, by whatever, fire or whatever, has that advantage that the matter, the nano and the plasma is all the same. So connection is very solid, it's very strong. The power of the plasma technology, the way we have thought, is beyond imagination of the man. Now you can create and control the plasma, which is the mother of the creation of the universe. You are given the seed of the essence of the creation. The 
the foundation does not belong to no one and is not made of one anymore. You are developing it. You are structuring it. And from today, we will be still the same. We'll still develop the technology in different names, in different colors, in different nationalities which they do not exist. It is beautiful when we see the Christian, the Muslims, the Jews and every other belief are working together to build up systems. We have already become one faith. We already have become one nation and we already have become one planet. You got to remember one thing. Dates is irrelevant. Today is the last day of the Christian calendar or tomorrow is the beginning of another. One day is connected to another. We don't stop. We are working around the clock. The Keshe Foundation team is working in respect to our time, position, religion, country. And now we achieve what we set out for. Welcome everyone to the 286 Knowledge Seekers Workshop for Thursday, July 25th, 2019. This is a broadcast of the Cash Foundation Spaceship Institute Education Department and is part of the public teachings in English. My name is Rick Crammond. I'm your host today along with Flint Malhausen. And as usual, we're joined with Mr. Mayran Kesh of the Kesh Foundation, and I believe he's ready to go with today's uh, workshop, news and teaching. Mr. Kesh, are you ready? Yes, good day to you, good morning, good afternoon, and welcome wherever, wherever you listen to these series of Knowledge Seekers teachings. As we see, we are progressing very, very slowly and in so many ways we are entering as we've gone through the first phase of the teachings and then the second phase and we have built a solid block into a structure of the knowledge. It's getting to the point that, as I said, every few weeks we leave people to ask questions and enlighten us and see how we learn together something new and how we can extend our knowledge. So what I'd like to do this week if anyone has any questions that we can start maybe with asking questions we can enlighten to add to the knowledge or we learn from some of our knowledge seekers who come here to explain their understanding and whatever they have developed. We used to do this quite a lot before and we don't do that much of it because not many of the people would like to be uh, explaining about their souls and what they feel and the rest of it and there are a lot of people who are trying to find this process of elevation of their souls to the next step. Uh, there is a lot to learn and a lot to teach and in so many ways every you know and as we said we try to bring some sort of understanding that we all understand or if there's an ambiguity in the whole question. There's, in fact, a lot of things which I realized needs explanation and needs to be going into more in-depth of the whole understanding of the process. Um, 
it would be nice to see to what level, to what extent we can answer the questions or we can share knowledge that maybe some of us finds answers in it and in them. In that process we keep going further and developing more and in the process of developing we'll see how much we can add to the knowledge and take us to steps. There is an announcement which we made, or not an announcement, what we discussed in the, what we call Universal Council Teaching on Thursday. We are looking at if we achieve into what we look, uh, we are considering, we might, there's a remote possibility, or there's a possibility, a remote possibility, that we will call the 2nd of August, Friday 2nd of August, the Space Blue Day, print, Blueprint Day. Which means, we will open the technology of the space technology in full understanding. Many of you have been around and been trying to do this. Now it's time to step up the other side of the technology. This depends on number of criterions which we are looking for to be in position by that time. If it does not happen, we will not disclose. This is to disclose new space flight system. Never seen it. Many of you have been around. It's a technology which works on the basis of the universal transportation. We'll explain that on Tuesday, Universal Council meeting. This depends on many criteria, And if we see those criteria passed and we achieve what we need to achieve in the next seven days, eight days, you will see a full physical operational test flight system. Does not mean we're going to show you the UFOs. We might do that's a different thing as you call it UFOs. But we will show full operational system. Reactors which work exactly the same as they should do in a space. Reactors like Earth. Reactors like Moon. Reactors like the galaxies. The knowledge is extensively taught, but none of you have ever achieved it. And we have decided that maybe it's the time to put one step up. The reason which is important for us that these criteria to to be reached, and if it's not reached, or we see it necessary, is that any of you can produce a full flight system. That is, any of you knowledge seekers who have been testing, will be able, while even while we're on a process, you have systems like Armand, Brick, and many of you, as we instruct you, we stay on, you can develop, you can tell us how you see, what you see. And we build it up to the point, even if it means we go to the 3rd, 4th, 5th of August, we carry on till one of the knowledge seekers achieves totality. The reason for this, if we achieve it, if we do not achieve our target, you will not see it. At the beginning, we'll show you a working system then it's for knowledge seekers to copy it, to develop it. In that process, automatically the borders will become obsolete. Any of you can travel across any border. Any of you can produce any amount of energy. And in that process, as you know, I always, when there is something important, I give it as a gift on the 2nd of August, which is my birthday. That'll be a gift to all of you. Because in that process, we will achieve, understand, and many of you who have tested many systems, will be able to bring your systems in and test. We've done this before, running, presentations around the clock, groups of us stays on to carry on. So, by the time we finish, it should be at least a number of, what you call your flights, your systems which can fly on the screen, that we can see. 
we expect to be across a number of countries. We act when we finish with the teaching or when you see the system, we give you time to make it, to replicate it, to correct it. It will be a one continu continuous teaching till one of you flies. And the one who flies first teaches the others. This is the criteria. Whatever you have learned from me in past years, whatever you have made in past years and you put it in the box in attic, if we announce it on the 1st of August, next Thursday teaching, that there is going to be a blueprint flight space system, make sure you have all your pieces together by the 2nd. Because what I will teach you, we bring scientists from across the world. They've been taught piece by piece and they bring their piece in and you can see, one brings another part of the knowledge you can see. We open the Iranian space technology. The full space program will be opened. Which means, no government will have any superiority to that. And we will show to militaries that there is no need for any hardware. This week, we have seen a positive move, in a way, by Chinese government reducing their military forces by two million soldiers. This is part of the technological development, which now we see around the world. But on the other hand, as the nation becomes more powerful, does not need that many. New advanced technologies replace the old systems. So, what I hope, and everything has to be a spot on for us to open the 2nd of August. You have to remember every piece you've been taught, you have to remember every session you've been taught. Some of you developed the control, remote control, you need it. Some of you developed different type of nanotechnology you needed. Some of you developed a kind of GANS technology you needed. Some of you came to understand how you can do different uses of the technology as a plasma, as a film, or whatever. You can group together as a group and advise each other. We open number of Zoom channels that each group who feels they want to get work together, we put you a room but open to everyone and can go around to see the rooms. We run these rooms till we achieve. If you remember, when we did the 129 Tesla, a few years ago, we had a bunch of people who are watching the monitoring and saying, oh look, it's gone up by 0.1 Tesla, suddenly it's dropped by 2 Tesla. So we carry with this to the point that collectively, all the knowledge seekers, the space agencies, governmental organizations, all can come in and help. The only criteria which I meet is met by the first, I will announce next Thursday, we are going ahead or we are not going ahead. And the whole package Depends on one thing. Once the first group reaches the flight system, they teach the others online, the other groups, to bring them to position. The team in South China Sea 
should be in the right position to move first. The team in Arizona should be very easy for you to achieve it. You have everything in Arizona. Mexico should be easy to go. Austria Lab has everything to produce the first flights. I'll be working with all the teams if we go ahead. Round the clock till we achieve it. Invitation has gone to some of governments. They can join if they like. If you're in the United States, you can ask guys from NASA to join you. If you're in Israel, the new group in Israel who managed to get to the moon but they couldn't land this year, they can join us. The group in Iran of the space technology in the University of Tehran or Azad or Sharif University who do a different part of space technology will join us live. We invite the Chinese space people to be live online. Russians the same. This will be collaborative development and we go right away through. I have taught you many things. It's very much like a soup, like a food you make. You have the tomatoes, you have the carrots, you have the meats, you have everything else ready. Now will be the time to cook. In so many ways, I do not expect much, because I know at least three teams will reach flight within minutes. Within hours, if they are very unlucky. In the beginning of the second, if we decide to go ahead, we'll give you a list of materials you need to have handy, or to have available. We expect different organizations to do, to bring, and they try to hide it or whatever, to be open to share with us. This is on different channels, they hide in different ways, different governments hide with their intelligence, people that nobody sees but they're there. It's time to come out after hiding, be it from the White House to the Blue House or somewhere else. We expect Iranian scientists to be live online. We go one way, target, till we achieve day and night round the clock, till we see the flight. Some of us Yes, some of us will have success, some of us understands more because we all come from different backgrounds of technology and understanding of different knowledges. You add, you leave the system on, and in that process, hopefully, before end of August, we'll have opened up the borders. from one point to another. Many of you will be able to make that cross-border, to make one nation. And if I can get many of you in that position of travel, it's very much what is known in England as a Tesco coup d'etat. Tesco is a chain of shops in England, very well known internationally. There was a rule on Sundays that nobody could open, it was against the religion. And if you open, you had a penalty of $250 pounds. The small shops up to there couldn't afford paying 250 profit of their pocket. The chain store was big enough, they opened the shop, they came, they paid the 250, but that day they took 250,000. They took one million pound a day. And they kept on paying the penalty. 
We kept on paying the penalty till the government gave up. Everybody can have Sundays open. What I expect is more or less what I call Tesco Pulita. As many as people who can travel across the borders, governments have to comply to one position, that we respect each other, and at the same time, we do not push to break any laws. Many of you will crash somewhere, many of you will land on somebody's roof, many of you might end up in a cave, we have to find you, but I teach you how to find each other. And many of you will succeed. But, you have to understand, one simple point, our technology has to be the backbone to peace, not to create problem and conflict. The whole concept is, that within, by 2019, before end of this year, we can travel in conjunction with all the governments working together, into deep space. Iranian government scientists would lead this technology. We are ahead, we have the technology, and we can deliver. On the other hand, <coughs> once we achieve this flight system, that many of you have been sitting in front of it, and you say, oh, He knew all of it and He didn't tell us, and we've been doing this all the time. I'm not bringing something out of my pocket. I'm just putting, adding the salt and pepper, to get it taste nice, ready to eat. You got to understand, you are here as knowledge seekers, on the ethos of peace, and you are here as knowledge seekers, to understand, to share the technology and the knowledge. One nation has no borders to cross, as is one. One nation does not need army, as is one. There are no enemies. One nation does not need to boycott another nation, as one, with anything else. There is something which I showed in the teaching, and in so many ways, I have a message for governments. Very clear, cut message. And my message is very simple. It's time to talk about peace. It's time to take the action for peace. And it's time to deliver peace. And in a so many simple way, we will deliver peace in a very straightforward manner. You will understand this, and what I'm going to do, we cut this out, the original part was shown, in so many ways, to the teaching on, what you call, Tuesday, and what I do, I send this image, to Rick, and, Rick can simply open it up, and I will tell you what this is. Those of you who were present in the Tuesday teaching, you know the back and front of this one. But it has a clear meeting, uh, meaning. And that meaning is very simple. From now on, we rule, we dictate, and we execute. What we say, we execute, what I say, we say we do, it'll be done. Rick, it's something on your screen, on your secure line, can you take it up and put it on the screen, please? This has a meaning. And this shows what we will deliver. And in so many ways, in so many ways, it's a message to many, many, many governments. Rick, can you hear me? 
Uh, yes, it just takes me a couple of minutes to get an image off of... Uh, okay, there is a second one coming to you. And I want to send you that too. Yeah. I'm going to go silent for one second, deliberately. I'm back. Have you managed to fix your site, Rick? Uh, you should you should be able to see the uh, image there now, Mr. Kish. Okay. What this image is, the background as you see is an image of an aircraft carrier, and the background of it you see is a sky. A ship should be on the ground not floating in the sky. This is a message to the government. We said before, we will do. Now, we tell you, is doable. We expect a full peace action between the government. Those who are planning and they've done a lot of wrong things. Guys, it's time now to talk. And, those who think this is a joke, as I always say, please try me. I'm, a, I'm really interested to know how it will be done and how we can literally hang the ships on the closed rack of peace and let it dry. We do not need any kind of what I call misunderstanding. We do not need any kind of clever jobs. In so many ways, we'd like to understand one thing. How do we tell our governments we want peace? And now we have the knowledge to deliver that peace. This is what, how we have to do. We have to hung all our past grievances and move to the next step in the knowledge of man. Whatever it is, whatever you thought, it has to be done, it's been done. Whatever we need to bring more to be done, we take the first step as one nation. And, in so many ways, there is one good thing with this, and that is, collectively, we agree on peace. It's the Joint Keshe Foundation Knowledge Seekers. And, in that period of teaching, I'll make sure that the knowledge is fully learned, fully developed, while we are live on the 
teaching path. Which means, we collectively will do one thing and collectively we decide how we're going to do it and collectively we plan how to execute the work of peace. This is very interesting because in so many ways we gave enough warning. We gave enough uh, what I call touches and messages to many, many governments and now it's time for us to actually deliver that job. It is not good to do what is not real to be done. When we gave warnings, we want peace, we want collective peace, we want to understand what peace means to all of us. And as I said, we gave many governments, many chances to share, to develop, and now, you collectively develop. Which is good for all of us. <coughs> it is in so many ways, the conclusion or beginning of a new cycle, for every single one of you. Uh, we came here, a lot of you wanted to be part of, and now, we are in that point, in that position, that we collectively can do and deliver what we are here to do. Um, I think many of us will take heed on one of the pictures. I'll send you two more pictures, please, Rick. Have you received them? Uh, no, not yet. You have missing them. Okay, I'll send them to you again. They're all gone. So, what this means? It means we hang our old way of doing things to dry, building ships to go across waters, to attack building ships, to hijack one against the other, using the open sea waters as a means of extortion and whatever, taking people across to do the, all the damages. And something which is very recently, I have explained something, maybe some of you can go back and check. We see people bringing boats and ships and mastering 100,000 plus people. And we see, just so behind. As I said before, 2000 years ago, 2500 years ago, Persian Empire took 250,000 soldiers across to fight with the Greeks. Most advanced nation in the world, none of them can master that numbers two and a half thousand year, years later. Even they lost them more. It's amazingly, they lost with 250,000 people on the boats and everything. We learned wars are not worth it, and that's why Iran is still a peaceful nation. We done our conquering, and we found that there is not much to conquer. And now we see children of young groups just thinking they are very powerful boys, you can see it on the screen. A ship should not be hanging in the air. We hang it like the clothes, to dry, and we forget about the wet times and damaged times, how we made it dirty. I would like to see, there's another picture which is very interesting, I sent you the second picture. 
the third picture if you have it out, is that we collectively work in one place, under one condition, that is, we share the knowledge. As you see, this picture has a magnificent, special significance. It's the flag of many, many, many colors of many, many, many people and countries. It means we collectively hang the war games aside. I am sorry for those who spend a lot of money building Hello, Mr. Kesh. Okay. Not hearing you right now. Hello, Mr. Kesh. Can you hear me? Uh, we can he hear you now, yes. We lost you at uh, those who were building, I believe. Yeah, now they can understand that toy time is over. And we do our best. Can you hear me now? Hello? Uh, yeah, that's better, thank you. That's better, yeah. Okay. So those who've been playing and making these games have to realize the time of play is over. We are here to deliver and we do it together collectively as is a tradition a family works together to build together to secure a house that, as we say, you don't let the wolves in. In that process, I am sure number of you will lead the way. Many of you have been, what I call, watchers. You watched, and you were, what I call, sightseers of the technology. In this process, we all become developers of the technology. In so many ways, <coughs> we try to learn more. What, what's gonna happen in the process of teaching? If we go this way, many of you have to learn the process of space navigation. That in so many ways you land in the right place. This will be some of one of your biggest problems. To get you to land you, and at the same time, many of you might land in the wrong places which we don't want you. So, this is going to be one of your dilemmas. Many of you will start learning the new way. Many of you will, might get lost somewhere, but we most probably show you how we can find you. Even if you end up on planet Zeus, we can bring you back. And then it comes to going to the dimension of the next steps, how to develop it how we collectively welcome each other to each other's part of this planet. I'm very, very, very much sure the Keshe Foundation team will be one of the first ones will hit this door. Because they have all the tools ready, they, are, they have everything available. There is a lot of things which missed, there's a lot of things which has to be learned. And in that process of learning, we go to the next steps of teaching. Learn one thing from this, what comes. Do not try, ever try, to use this technology to change the atmosphere of your area. Never <coughs> interfere with this technology to change storms into sunny part, whatever what it is. You have to protect the ground level, you have to protect in a way that people are safe, but do not interfere with the condition of the planet. Because if you are 
a citizen of a house, if you live in an apartment, you don't open the water in your father's apartment next door that yours is safe. When you touch the atmospheric condition, this planet is a dynamic structure, will create problems for other members of the Keshe Foundation worldwide, somewhere else. Try to learn to handle this, not at a system that you can move things along, because I don't like it, make it a condition that I can live with it, and find a way that it will suit me, suit my condition. Never interfere with the working of any planet, just because you have the knowledge, or you think you can do. I'm sure many of you will find yourself in different part of the space you never imagined it could be. It's fun, understand it. Do not carry a backpack, because most probably where you land somewhere, the backpack doesn't exist in dimension of materialistic of that world. What you will see in creating the new dimensions of the space system, other friends of ours, which are on this planet, respect. Or, where you land, respect. Those who you come across. Because once you start developing this technology, you create conditions, very much that you're breathing in a room, is nice, and then the room temperature changes, and the window gets rusty or steams up. It's what it was in the room. Hello, Mr. Cash. I think he's dropped out temporarily, so oh, he's, he's there. Not hearing you, Mr. Cash. Still not hearing. See, your microphone is open, but we're not hearing any sound. Okay, well, bear with us a minute while we reconnect with Mr. Kesh. Hear me now? Yes, we do. Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Hello. Can Hello? you hear me now? <laughs> yes, can you hear me? I don't think so. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello, Mr. Kesh. Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> yes, I can, and I'm typing out to you. So you uh, can you hear me? Hello. <laughs> okay, it appears we're still having some connection issues. So again, uh, just be patient. We'll get the connection happening. Mm. <clears throat> 
looks like he's reconnecting, so. Okay. It shouldn't be too long before Mr. Cash reconnects here. Ah, there we go. Hello, Mr. Cash. Hello, can you hear us? We can't hear you yet. Hello, Mr. Cash, can you hear us? We can't hear you. I started to hear something there, but uh, we can't, it's not coming through. Still not hearing them. Hello, Mr. Cash, can you hear us? We're not able to hear you yet. Well, we seem to be having some extraordinary connection difficulties. Usually we hook up a little quicker, but bear with us here and I'm sure we will reconnect shortly. This is the part where we need to get Flint to play his guitar. Hello, Mr. Kesher, are you there? Not hearing you yet. Hello, hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Kesh. Hello. Hello, can you hear me now? Yes, yes, now you're clear. Yeah, I think a lot of people don't like this to be heard. 
Yeah, but be. <laughs> it could be a lot of it when we don't get it this way. But in any case, this is what we are planning to do. This is what is going to be done. As I said, if the, what I call, government, as we are the government, we are one nation, decide that we are in the right way on to August the 1st. I will give you a list of what you need, as I said, on the 2nd of August. Try to group of you who are understand and have the facility to log in with groups on once we announce it on the first that people like from Romania or people from Arizona want to link up people from um, what you call research centers in Mexico would like to add up with the others and if the thing takes long enough that some of you want to fly and go to each other to get it done We'll run this till we achieve flight. And in so many ways, we carry on. And in those conditions, we continuously ask you to keep a peaceful, orderly manner and respect your nations and your governments. Not just now we can, we do what we like. It's not time of doing what we like, it's time of doing what is correct. I expect the Chinese will take a leap position in some parts. I expect um, groups like the German groups, Austrian groups, will have advantage in they share knowledge in that way. We have different groups who work together, uh, trying to link up together in that way. And at the same time, many of you, you can link with them, join them, join these groups that once the process start, you're all part of it. and we can develop this step by step. In so many ways, uh, we have to understand that um, we can do, we have the capability to do it. There's a huge amount of interference, a lot of people trying to block what is going on. But uh, step by step, try to work together. That's a collectively we achieve. It's not going to be just because Arizona has more facilities, Austria knows more, the Chinese have more access to other things, and in that process, we get governments to join us. The, the scientific world, uh, we we will join step by step and as we take steps and they can see what's the next step the world what I call scientific organizations a space organization will come to you will join in now we hope that we can collectively push for peace There is a possibility, 100%, that we'll see new features, possibility that we see new methods, and it has to be shared. Not as us, we know it. If you find something out, you put it on, on a common chat. And how many Zooms you can run, how many channels you can run, all has to stay completely open to all of us. Has to stay fully transparent. No team, I hope, will take and think they've done their run. 
one thing you remember, you cannot run far from where I sit. We monitor, we guide you, we allow you to play, but play has to be collective. If you want to come into common chat and discuss, I've done this, what's the problem, what can I do, what's the next step, mine doesn't give results, mine has a problem or I achieved something, we work together, there is no patent, so we all contribute. The only thing we need to do is make sure all of you, at all time, stay safe. I have a bad news, I have a good news. The bad news is, we don't necessarily need dynamic reactors. The good news is, if you have a few ping-pong balls, you still can create the flight system. Not the flight, maybe something else. Maybe you find a way to create energy, maybe you find a way to create materials, then everybody is in it to do it, to repeat it. Number of people would like to do, they do it. You don't need to have expensive things around you. If you have few ganses, which is the criteria, you need uh, what do you call it? Uh, you need to understand it, you need to be able to activate it, and overall, you need to remember you are not the only one who is doing it. We do it collectively together. The answer, the question is asked in the background, was can we bring everybody through Telegram to work together? No problem. We try to structure it that we all move together into this new technology and knowledge and the space technology. The only thing is, I have one bad news. Those of you who think you can get away with what you've done before, you have to be very much understand. Now, on this planet, there is nowhere to hide. Hello, Mr. Keshe. Sorry, not able to hear you yet. Still can't hear. Well, we seem to be having quite a time getting this message out, so again, uh, be patient and we will no doubt reconnect with Mr. Cash. Still not hearing you, Mr. Cash.
Flint suggested a five minute break video. I'm not sure if that would be good or not. Perhaps Neil suggests the Hammond organ for intermission. <laughs> That's an idea. I had the thought that we should have a list of plasma jokes from the plasma joke book. That'd be a good project for somebody. Hello, Mr. Cash, are you there yet? Okay, I just thought of a plasma joke. What did one plasma say to the other? He said, I'm outstanding in my field. Hello, Mr. Cash, are you there? You need to save me. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you? Oh. Hear me at all. It's broken up, but keep going. We can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, now it's clear. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah. Now you can't hear me, right? Yeah. Can you hear me? No. We can hear you. Uh, okay. Well, we did. You can. Yes. Hello. Yes, we can hear you now. Can you hear me? Can you hear you? Yes, I can. You can hear me? Uh, yeah, it's a little distant. I think it's the other microphone or something. Am I broken in pieces? Uh, no, we can hear you, but it's distant. Like it's a uh, uh, hello. Ah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Oh, now it's broken up again. Up and down. All right, to fill in time, we have a joke from Mark. Why can't you trust an atom? Because they make up everything. Well, that's not going to work as a plasma joke, though. Hear me? To, uh, hello? Yes, Mr. Kish? Hello? Okay. Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Hello. Yes, go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes, but apparently you can't hear me. Hello. Once again, be patient with us and be patient with the plasma jokes and atom jokes here. We have another response from Gatua. Why can't you trust an atom? 
because atoms are always moving their position, moving positions. Thank you, Gatwa. You're welcome. <laughs> Do you have any plasma jokes? Somebody must have a plasma joke. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, hello, Mr. Cash. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? We can hear you. Can you hear me there? Yes. Am I audible? Uh, yes. Hello. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. We hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Oh, okay, good. Go ahead. <laughs> hmm, well. <clears throat> Once again, we're having a little difficulty here. Uh, Stephen asks, uh, will this be broadcast and recorded in eight hour segments like you did with the mag grab to Washington DC press club? No idea, Stephen. We don't even know if we're gonna be doing it yet. It all depends on uh, uh, the August 1st uh, decision with Mr. Kesh, and uh, then we'll just play it by ear from there, see what happens. Can you hear me? Hello, Mr. Kesh. Hello. Sorry about this. Apparently, we are causing too much trouble for too many people. They don't want us to be hurt. Maybe we should change the picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. All right. I think so. If you uh, change the Flint, picture. Flint, can you uh, put on the screen? Thank you. All right, maybe things will settle down now. Settle down now. Can somebody move the picture? Yeah, we have it. We have it moved. Okay, that's good. So what we come so down, what we come down to is that uh, we set up groups, and can, can you hear, hear me? me? Uh, yes, there's an echo right now, but we can hear you. You shouldn't have that echo anymore. It's good now. That's better. Thank you. Yeah. We'll see how long it lasts, apparently. There are not many people happy with us, what we're discussing, what we're trying to tell you. What we would like to do to set up groups, as I was saying, and these groups have to be able to work together. In a way, they have to be able to um, structure a way that is in totality within the ether also of the Keshe Foundation. And what I will try to do in the first few hours, I set out the criteria, I set up the rules and all the tools. And in that process, we go step by step in in how we do it, the way we do it, how we have set out to do it, and in which way, collectively, we set, set out to be able to conform with the international rules and regulations. As I said to somebody very recently, make sure you have your ID and your passport in your pocket. And if anybody tells you, how did you immigrate? Says, I'm not immigrating, I'm walking around my own nation, and this is my ID. 
try to understand who's carrying what, where you are, what you carry, these are serious conditions. We are not talking. You know, um, the White Brothers, they took off two brothers. Now we take off as a family. We all have to understand the, the criteria of the game. We have to teach to as many people this technology so rapidly, that we open a different direction into world peace, into a space travel, into creation of food and energy, in the creation of the stability of the, what we call social structure. These are all important in this game from now on. And we have to decide if and how we are going to do it. There are certain criterions we see fit on the first, we go. Second, we fire. If you go back to what we've done up to now, we have met all our blueprint days. Now, any questions? Okay, thank you, Mr. Kesh. And um, as usual, I'll tell the attendees, we have 54 attendees here, and they can put their hand up if they would like to ask a question. That is their virtual hand. And uh, if people have questions in the live stream or YouTube, you can post your questions there and we'll try to put them through. I had a question, Mr. Kesh. Oh, wait, we have a hand up here. Uh, Dimitri, you'll let him go ahead to start things. Uh, Dimitri, would you like to go ahead there? Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Okay. Mr. Kesh, I have a question for you about the uh, Iranian flight that went up to the moon but did not land. Uh, my question is, um, to my limited comprehension, they would have needed to create a gravitational pulse and feed that pulse to go to it. My question is, did they pull that gravitational pulse from the back feed of the system? If that makes sense. They pulled the gravitational... Can you hear me? Uh, uh, yes, we hear you, Mr. Kesh. Hello, can you hear us, Hello. Mr. Kesh? Hello, Mr. Kesh. He may not have heard your question, Dimitri, so you might have to repeat it. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll wait until we've uh, we've yeah. got Mr. Cash back in, definitely. Yeah. Well, this process is making Morse code look fast. <laughs> in spite of all of our fancy internet connections all over the place, we could actually communicate faster by Morse code. <laughs> However, I'm sure we'll get Mr. Kesha's voice back shortly. Yeah, I think, um, uh, Dimitri, are you, are you talking about the Israeli 
moon landing that failed. There was not a, as far as I know, there was not an Iranian moon landing attempt. Sorry, my, my, uh, thank you for the correction. The Israeli flight that did not land. Well, it landed, but rather hard, apparently. Oh, okay. The reason I ask that question is because we are talking about the universal uh, heartbeat. Uh, which is in everything. So, uh, and there's also, you see, this is this is where I've stepped a foot wrong because of my limited comprehension, uh, because of my selfishness, and I've felt I've needed to do other things. Um, I, uh, to my comprehension, there. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Uh, hello, Mr. Guest. Can you hear us? Hello. Hello, Mr. Guest. Hello. 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 <laughs> hello. 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 Ooh, the learning how to speak in the space. Did da did it did da 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 did it did it did da. Hello, Mr. Kesh, can you hear us? Stephen Stephen asks in the chat and Q and A, will translators be on hand to help the groups? Communicate. And I'm thinking, at this rate, we could have a problem, Houston. We could try hand signals. Smoke signals? Drumming? What about communicating through the soul? I think that's probably happening right now in those moments of silence in between here. Rick, maybe a suggestion. Mm -hmm. You have all those beautiful quotes of Mr. Kesh. Might it not be a good time to go through them again? Which quotes? The commandments? Or? No, no, you know the quotes, Mr. Kesha's quotes. You've been collecting for such a long time. Yeah, they're on the community site. They're beautiful. All oh, right. I tried well, that's an to. Idea. To Mr. Kesh, but apparently he hasn't seen my message for a solution for his uh, dropping out continuously. Maybe it might be a solution, but it might be very nice to share the quotes of Mr. Kesh. They are absolutely amazing. Thank you, Rick. Okay, thanks, uh, Caroline. It's a good suggestion. I'll try to align that up here. You're welcome.
Can you hear me? Mr. Kesh? Mr. Kesh? I, I have told left you. you. Can hear me. What? Mr. Kesh? If you leave a message on the chat, I can read it if you can hear me. Okay. Just one second. I'm going to send it to you in private, Mr. Kish. I think he has received the message. I hope so, because it might be a solution. Because every time he drops out, he loses all the chat messages as well. Hello, can you hear me? Mr. Kesh, can you hear us? Hello, Mr. Kesh. A message from Flindy. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? I'm back again. Can you hear us? Hello, Mr. Kesh. Can be heard? Uh, hello, we're, we're hearing you, Mr. Kesh. Uh, Flynn, can hear. you hear my voice? You wrote no change. Okay, no problem. I cannot hear you. There is whatever reason is the microphone does not uh, download. Uh, What would I would like to ask, and hopefully I need you to con com continue to tell me you uh, can hear me. I don't know when it's going to be blocked. Uh, we can start. Is that what we need to know is how to operate? Um, can go to the next step. It is, um, it's obviously there are some people who do not want us to share this, and most probably uh, is part of what it's always been, but uh, freedom has a cost. I can read, I read, I cannot go what you want to do. It's okay. very simple, it cannot be done. Um, there is somehow, I don't have any voice feedback. I cannot hear anyone, but apparently you can hear me. What I would like to uh, extend uh, to the total understanding is many of you, um, can you uh, uh, have tried in the past to understand the technology. Many of you have tested many parts of the technology that you were not sure that you can use, but the what I call progressive development of the technology has brought about um, a knowledge that needs to be understood about the construction of the plasma. In many teachings, I refer to it, but apparently as I've watched for over years, nobody hears it. And in that process, now we go into that step that we gain the knowledge, we understand the knowledge, and with it, we go into the step of the completion of the technology. You got to remember your systems cannot work with controls that you are used to. You have to remember all the background 
understanding of the plasma, behavior of the plasma, work of the plasma in its true essence, understanding how plasma reacts, understanding at what point you can interact with the plasma. You have to remember how you make uh, decisions on the totality of the behavior of the plasma. Many of you who have used ganses in a dynamic condition will understand the process very quickly. Many of you will come to understand that the plasma behavior is very much, very much in the hand and uh, in the process of creating conditions for understanding the process. The whole structure of the plasma technology goes back to the roots, to the original, from where the first words were written. And that was, if you read from the first pages of book one, and understood it, then you develop into this process of understanding and how to set up to run a condition of space. Can you hear me now? Um, yes, Can that's you hear better. me? That's better. It's, it's uh, I think there's a both Hello. of them run. Okay, go ahead. Can I hear it? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see if the system works. In that process, you have I, I know I can see you can hear me, Iris. In the process of going through the whole structure, understanding the work of the plasma as a light, understanding of the plasma as a universal system, what's in the book number three. These have to be understood. Now that we reach to the point of being able to create systems. You have to develop a full understanding of pitfalls and advantages with what we call use of the technology. You have to understand how you have to develop a condition that you always stay safe from now on. You have to develop a technology understanding of it that you can recognize your position, your positioning in respect to where you are. And at the same time, many of you will find problem in adjusting to new technology. 
the whole structure is we come to the pinnacle of our work. We are in Knowledge Seekers 286, with the Knowledge Seekers 300, we have to have, we should be able to have, a large number of Earth citizens in places like Moon. In other areas which we can move to. I'm sure once we go through this path, governments will become part of it. And then we find out systematically all these what I call, games will hang up. No one can dictate to no one. No one can force no one, and no one can die of hunger. No one will die of thirst. No one will die of no shelter. Because it's been the habit of the man to help. To share. I'm sure many of you who have much too much, we land up in Somalia, you land up in Palestine, you land up in different part of the world. And in that process, we see the construction of the totality. It is very important for all of us to understand once we go through this process, once we go through the process of what I call totality of the work, we will be very much in line for much work to be done by many of us. Mankind is usually kind, and mankind has the audacity to test, to try. It's in the nature of the man to be able to stand the, what I call, toughness of life. That's how we survived billions of years and we evolved. The evolution from now on will be very rapid. This is why, in the teachings, especially on the medical side, I left many, many, many knowledges behind, organ by organ. Because now you understand the meaning of it. You understand why it was done. You will understand the extent which the knowledge has been covered that mankind, humanity, can replicate any parts of his organ in, in a space. We are not looking for discoveries. We are not looking for what I call, who's done what and first by whom. We are looking to achieve the next step of entering man into the world, into the Kingdom of God. Many of you will have a problem with this. Many of you have to change position. Many of you will deny religions. Many of you will deny what mankind has done to mankind. The whole structure will be to give mankind a process of understanding. To give mankind a structure of understanding. To allow man 
to become self-confident that he can take the next step to evolve and develop new understanding of his society. The change of the whole structure comes as we gradually becoming aware of a larger community which we have been part of. In so many ways, we will gather knowledge. In so many ways, we will gather new insight to the living. And in so many ways, we gradually become conscious of our own inner existence, our own soul. In the English language we say, I rely on my instinct. But now your instinct is the essence of the feeling of your soul. In so many ways, we are not looking for creating heroes, but we are looking to create those who understand the whole structure. Those who can grasp the meaning of the true essence of knowledge. As I said, try in next week to remember, understand a lot of things which you didn't remember. If you set up groups that you want to be part of, you can start setting up the groups. There are certain technologies which I have thought certain members of the Keshe Foundation in the past two months, those knowledge cannot be shared, unless you've been told to, you've been asked to. For security reasons, I've left many, many, many pieces of the knowledge, with many, many, many Keshe Foundation knowledge seekers. When we opened knowledge, when we open a Pandora box of the space technology, you see, now I know why I received that message. That has to stay very clear, that that knowledge does not belong to you. That knowledge has to stay till one of the team reaches the use of it, then we allow to be released. Which means, we do not want to have a copycat, we want to have progressive development. And this is one of our biggest criteria. To achieve progressive development, I do not look that we achieve a space flight condition within the first half hour, first hour, first day, we look that progressively all the groups, all the people, government officials, we got to remember many scientific organizations sit behind in the background and listen. So they all be at it. I hope they be open enough to come open and say, this is what it is, the principle is there, this is what we missed, so we open a panel, we use this 503 channel as a common ground, and we proceed. Can I be heard? Can somebody confirm to me, you can hear me still? I can see you, Aros. And in this process, we try, collectively, to bring mankind into the next step. It's not Chinese, 
it's not Japanese, it's not the Iranians, it's not the Americans, it's collectively, we gather together, and you'll find out a lot of scientists, small scientists, as they hear, they join in. Work on the Facebook, work on the YouTube, in every way, make it all live, that people can come in, can see, can participate, can be part of this new breakthrough technology. I don't know any other way to do it, because if we do it with the Iranians, uh, they have kept the technology hidden long enough, I think I had a very good patience with the Iranians, and in a way I respect them, not using it to do funny things with it, but I'm sure NASA scientists will come up with a better solution, so would the Chinese and so would the Americans, different space organizations and everybody else, we all run to do it. And I hope they open up the doors and it's no use being ahead of somebody else when you all are in the same direction. And as I said, I wonder if the nations which carry so much aircraft carriers, they leave it where they are as a piece of museum. Um, I will teach you how to make food, I teach you how to make man, some of the mad pleasures of meat and vegetable. And in so many ways, if you are on the dimension of physicality. And in that process, you might bring people of your friends or family who are critically sick and using the system to see them recover. You might bring your animals or your plants who or which have in the process of being ill or whatever, you can bring your systems in, you can bring centers of knowledge and as I said, we try to bring this technology out correctly. We we have wasted enough time. Far too far too long. Uh, there is something which I have to mention, and I will mention again for it to be understood in full understanding that this technology is not there to be abused and this technology is not there for those who think they might be able to do something for their own benefit. We do our best to, in so many ways, deliver the totality of the knowledge. We do our best to deliver the understanding of the knowledge. We do our best to be able to share the knowledge. I have no commitments to no nation, but I have a commitment to humanity. And this is where a lot of people misunderstand the way I work. Unfortunately, my system does not work. For whatever reason, I can speak, but I cannot hear. But on the other hand, Maybe it's the best, you can just hear the voice. And it gives you time to comprehend the extent of what has really going to hit us all.
it is part of the teaching of today. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's not the way that we interact. It is, it's a way, totally one way, I can teach you, I can explain to you, but I cannot hear you to answer your calls. Maybe is the way the Creator the, wants it. Maybe he is happy this way. And maybe we are content with what we have. With what we can deliver, with what we can share. And in so many ways, maybe it's time to progress to the next level. Unfortunately, I cannot hear you, but you can hear me, I continuously get messages that I'm clear, but in that process, it's not a problem as long as you can hear, and if you want to ask a question, you got to write it, I cannot read, I cannot see it, hear it, and somehow it seems to be a very peaceful teaching for me. If there are simple questions, write it on the board, and I try to respond. If there is a question from other channels, type it on the board, I respond. There'll be a lot of writing. Now we see the advantages of why man created a voice. It says, is it please, is it possible to explain again about Ma, M A or R N A? Oh, oh, the RNA. It says, what can the ordinary people do in their everyday life to make the peace process faster? We cannot make the peace process faster. It's one of the impossibilities. The peace process will come in the process that our governors, or governments, realize we, we are citizens ourselves. And the only difference is that we are citizens of one nation. Um, this is the problem we have. Then, this, what we call, stirring up of races, stirring up of colors, the stirring up of path of belief, will have no room. And in that process, we will find out that our leaders will find out they need to be led to peace. And in that process, we will in so many ways, create a condition that our governments will become to be a peaceful government. You got to understand, now, some of us apply a, whatever 22s, we put them next to each other to make it 44s, and we threaten if we put more, we make them 88s, 
to you is a danger and to the Chinese is a lucky number, test it. And the governments will realize there is no need trying to enforce. One of the first things which will collapse in this process will be religions. When you will understand the work, or mankind will understand the work of his own uh, progress, we will see the end of this mayhem of religions. That's for sure. Because you will see things which is very clear. You'll be shown things which are very clear. So, which one do you believe? Lies on the ceilings of Vatican and whatever chapel or the histories in the books which was never written is written to suit who. It's um, what we have to do and we'll achieve it. Peace will come out of the strength of the Keshe Foundation knowledge. Sharing of the knowledge, development of the knowledge. We still go to the factories, we still go to the offices, we still go to clean the streets, we still go everything else. Nothing will change. Because mankind has not moved into that dimension. And even if you move to the new dimension of social interaction at peace, peace means providing, peace means creating. You might change it from a hamburger to the plasma burger to taste different thing now it's become fashionable a meat which is not a meat and it still bleeds now i create you a meat which bleeds and it's still a meat but you have killed no animal so you have to understand a lot of things how one of the funniest things will be in the coming time how do we tell the muslim and the meat is halal there was no pig in the air, and how do we make a kosher food for our Jewish friends? This is when oxygen needs to be kosher. So, you understand there will be a lot of adjustment, a lot of reaching, and we'll come to the point that, do we need to slaughter animals? And then you understand, Immediately, a lot of religions goes to the window. Then it comes, those who want to be, to have weapons, nuclear, God knows what. At least as a nuclear physicist, I can sigh of relief and pleasure that my colleagues did not go crazy enough to blow any more than what they did with Hiroshima. And uh, in so many ways, we need the knowledge to create peace, and the knowledge, if it's shared, enforces peace, and that's why we teach this way. As of this week, or coming week, I'll be moving out of China, very soon. And I start teaching across this planet. My time in China is nearly over. I have set up, achieved, and I put people which trusted to develop and secure the technology for Chinese nation is more or less complete. A few more bits left in the next few days, which we expect complete, and I'll become a passenger of this planet one way or another, sharing the knowledge, adding to the knowledge, and go back into teaching the technology on more or less international basis, nation by nation, or what I call area by area. As I have no belief in passports, we can stay a few meters off the ground, now we have the knowledge, who claims which country. The beauty of it is, if you can stay with the new technology, at a point, 
one second you're over Russia, the next second you're over United States. Which one to ask you, who owns the space? As you can create a field dimension, is not anymore you rotating around the planet, the planet rotates and you watch. So there is no claim on territorial aerospace. And in that process, a lot of things, and new things, new rules, new regulations will come into operation. Then, fortunately, many of us will see the change. As I said, it all depends what happens till next week. And if what happens, as I said in the Tuesday teaching, it has to be so bad, that I do it to force the peace. So you can see how bad it is, how bad it has to be, that message we are waiting for, is not message of peace by different nations, it's opposite. If they become, what I call, my mother used to say, if you become a naughty child, you don't get the sweetie. This time, if you become naughty, you get the sweetie. It's a very nice way, because you get, what our world leaders do, will decide how we will teach, and we release the technology. This is a direct answer to a new blonde man in Downing Street, who thinks has found a new blonde problem, and they can play many blonde games. And as you know, we play a lot of games with blondes, but of the different orientation, and different life. And in fact, my message is very simple. We don't play games. We let the games to be played. And in so many ways, if anything goes wrong, you might even be asked to join the Blueprint Day on Tuesday. So you can see it how bad the message has to be, that we see we have to come in. There is a message from Jalal, he says, what materials must bring? Uh, I didn't think he had born the same as Ahmad, uh, six months, or seven months, sorry. You have to wait. I will teach you, everybody gets the same material at the same time. Just Morgan, should the inter-relationship of hydrogen be taken as a fuel of a space travel? Do hydrogens have different conditions at different points in space? I can fly you with anything. What happens if you don't find hydrogen in the planet you land? You're stranded? This is... You say, can we use cache technology gas in the EM? I think it must be electromagnetic drive to increase the trust of electromagnetic drive. I don't know. Um, you can use the Hello, electromagnetic drive, it's, you can use anything, you can use electric currents, you can use anything. Um, you see, each one of you is taking a piece of information, the knowledge. You have not understood the totality of the knowledge.
why do we need to wait for crisis to be able to receive this development? <laughs> it means mankind is not ready yet, but in a way you force our hand to do it. So maybe that's what the understanding is. I lost part of the messages, suddenly jumped. I have to go to see what I have. Did I keep too many questions? This is a good way to teach from now on. We should cut your voices down and this way. At least it allows me to practice my English. It's good for the book number seven. Okay. Oh, this is still clear, good. Uh, will this knowledge elevate all the souls on this planet? Um, You can elevate. You can use it to elevate the soul of the man, yes. Without a shadow of a doubt. Of course you can. And we most probably see a better results than what we have at the moment. He says, can we make a neutron strength plasma from one kind of gas? Isotopes of it, yes. If you uh, understand the whole nuclear technology and understand what isotopes are, of course you can. You are left with a bunch of mm, what you call um, neutrons. That's why you have different isotopes and you can use the proton. You see, mankind has still have to learn another point, which is a proton isotopes, atomic structure, which is, you have a neutron or a proton, which behaves as a neutron in the center of the atom, which is a balancer. And yes, it is itself answers its own question. Can we make it? Okay. The other one says, why not sharing balanced knowledge for all? That's what we are doing. Otherwise, we would have thoughts in the background somewhere else. Uh, Alexander ask what are the plans for the two million Chinese soldiers? I don't know, ask the Chinese government. The Chinese, I was talking to the, this morning, uh, in China, Soldiers are used to cultivate, soldiers are used for disasters. Uh, I was told China has only two armed forces, the police and the army. When we say army covers the naval air force, everything together. And the soldiers here are used for agriculture, to cultivate, to guarantee food, it's national food security. Uh, so, uh, most probably Chinese government will find a way to utilize these in different ways, because Chinese soldiers are not very much like other countries, illiterate soldiers just to gun and carry. Chinese soldiers are trained in a specific field. So, when even they come out, they get used in the civilian side in those fields, or they be used most probably in those kind of characters, if they can be used. And so, I don't see any, and two million is literally nothing for the Chinese um, military forces. Uh, the whole of European nations doesn't have two million soldiers. This is a small percentage, I think, which they just putting, reducing. Will this knowledge elevate the souls? I said that one. The other one says, Terry committee. Okay, I will try to do the best and most important parts for each year until this teaching. Uh, and also video versions of basic of plasma on KFSSI wiki. 
it's pretty cool because it accelerates learning time by 10 times. That'll be nice, thank you very much. Do souls know each other by name or other? Who am I? Um, souls know each other by clarity of light. You will understand very soon. I explained this with a little bit before. My God, this guy is uh, very busy writing. I also began building an app with this content, like the Plasma Library and Social Platform, so that people can learn really easy and work together. If you make such an app, you make it available to the Keshe Foundation that we can share it. Can I turn next to so I can share my project with others? Maybe some can help me so we can move faster. Yes, we'll see what we can do. Humanity is moving into a new level. Does that mean that the soul of the man is coming in balance with the soul of the Creator? Hmm, not in balance, it finds its path to it. Why not sharing balanced knowledge? Well, we already shared knowledge balance with everyone. Nobody has shared knowledge the way we do. But it's constant. Can you write which countries you are from? It'll be easy to know where are you from. You said of the two first news is, is what is, is. And the second never ends in something that repeats a cycle. We get peace to understand knowledge and we understand knowledge to get peace. But there will be wars, everything is in the environment. But as it is a cycle, everything repeats itself. It does not start and it does not end, then the goal is to understand, is un the goal is understanding to get closer to the Creator and the spread, even what we are, what we each of us have to do is to understand the knowledge or the journey we make is our journey. This is a way of my, how to answer this. It's in so many places, in so many ways, we transfer our knowledge to the knowledge of the Creator. In so many ways, uh, we will see many, many new dimensions. Many of you, many, many of you, will not know what to do, even when you see, when you come across it. Because you have two characteristics. Some of you will see the knowledge in the light of physicality. Some of you will see the knowledge in the light of the soul of the man. And some of you, in understanding to see the soul of the man, will come to understand more in how your soul is made. What is the responsibility of your soul? What is... we can proceed with? In what we can look and understand. These are all part of what we can do. There is a message here, it says, how can we share the knowledge across the planet using our soul connection? You never know, you must have by now have done without you knowing. From Bulgaria, cash me a customer. Cash me a customer. Mr. Cash, it is said that it is the most dark right before sunrise. Are we witnessing such a darkness around the world? And how much darker will it get before we see the light of peace? Put it this way, it's so dark that we are pushing it to next week. You can imagine what is about to come. It's the conduct of the world leaders which is pushing us to this condition. Not the man. It is the conduct of certain people who thought they can control everything, which is pushing us to this condition. And it is so many ways, understanding 
of the problem set out is done. We've seen huge problems in Hong Kong, deliberately financed by Vatican. We see huge problems, sitting, playing games that was going to be played in Middle East, in the Persian Gulf. And we see other problems which is set up. You got to understand, British made the Saudi Arabia. Saudi Kingdom is a slave to British monarchy. British monarchy is sold out to Vatican. And the Vatican is run by Illuminati's. Rothschild family. So, we see the boss, and we know what is planned. And we approach it. Then down the road, the little chicks grow up to be good. There is no more share to loot. The monkeys have played their game. I have already done the first year of Gates that Public. We've seen this one. Uh, the understanding is to take the step to cross the threshold of man to become spaceman. We've done this. We, 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 this week is the anniversary, uh, 50 years anniversary of man on the moon. Why doesn't man, why haven't man used this opportunity past 50 years to create peace with it? The whatever gained knowledge has become to be used for weapon and do everything else. Now, as we said, we are one nation. As one nation we share equally. If you go to school, in north of Spain, or you go to school in south of Spain, is the book any different for the class one, two or three? Now, you live in Russia, you live in England, you live in China, the books of knowledge is equal. It's just translated to the new voices. So, I don't see any reason to worry about that side. There's a message from Iran, I can read it in Farsi, my Farsi is not very good. Um, they're talking about a new version of Zoom has been developed by the Iranians, we looked at it, our webmasters think there's not much advantage to it. Uh, uh, maybe it can be used for Iran and how we can interface it with Zoom, but um, it's many of these programs around the world, different what you call scientists to understand the world of the what I call um, computers. They try to help and bring a lot of a lot of things forward that we can work with. We looked at it; it's an option, but uh, it's something. As I say, um, we can always come to it if we need be. Can we expect the universal community to interact with? us, after we achieve flight. Uh, how diplomatically can I answer this question? Very diplomatic. And I answered the way my mother would have answered this question, very diplomatically. What do you think I'm taking you out? Why are you going to the zoo? To have ice cream? and get on the phone fair, or are you going to see the animals? But this time, we take you to the zoo of the universe. What do you expect? You want to close your eyes and see, I have seen nothing? Then that depends on you. You look at it with the eye of the man, and you look at it through the soul of the man. Then you decide what you see. How do you reach the soul of the Creator, with amino acid investigation, maybe in the West Sussex. Oh my God, West Sussex. (laughs) 
you see you're too physical just because in one of the teachings I said that we know that's it you don't need to have because if you any of you have made ganses you understand that amino acid does not have the better physical condition as the gans and that's uh, that's what it is and in so many ways um, it gives you a better combination to understand how your soul is created not to use the amino acid to make to get to that uh, to reach the soul of the Creator you again look at the matter of the amino acid and look at the fields of the amino acid that's where the problem sits <coughs> I explained to you something very simple my screen doesn't work and if you touch the screen most probably we lose all of it um, when we showed uh, the ganses in the dynamic system if you remember the size of the inner ball which became hollow which became the principal matter stays at a certain size it becomes detached from the matter point even if it's held by the matter to confirm its existence so when you use the gans of amino acid and it has to be a combination of it if you understand then would the size of that circle opens up or would it reduce and in a way you look at the empty space I call it the point of detachment it has nothing to attach to confirm its existence it's the point the strength of the Creator does not need to have to show it exists because its power it shows you're looking at the empty space of some water and some copper and zinc now try some protein or amino acid of the gas and see what that size changes and then you understand and this is what I always say it has nothing to touch itself so it's totally detached from totality and what you see in that center is the soul of the Creator but with his power holds everything else in order I am that point even in the dimension of physicality you don't understand so when you make a system you always looked at that empty space and I always said in the essence of creation and creator and everything he has created there is part of him and that's it that's what it is it does not have anything in it to confirm its existence but with its existence it confirms its power of its existence by holding the water the Gans in position you do not need to show to confirm your existence now you understand when in many teachings I explained to you that in the center of everything principal matter 
when you come to this point of emptiness, nothingness, but having the power of controlling everything else around you, is the existence of the Creator. Mankind has always looked that he is within the Creator, but the Creator is within the whole entity. Now, maybe some of you understand. That's your common denominator with the Creator. And when you can make the circle large enough that it becomes the whole of the pole, you might have you might have reached the level of understanding of the work of the creation and the creator. Because whatever is outside that pole, which is the totality of the universe, is the confirmation of the existence of God. You always, all of you went to kill the ball as much as you can. Where, in reality, when there is nothing in the ball and can dictate, you will understand. This is the point, your point, your confirmation of your existence within the center of your soul, in common with your Creator. This is what is in the center of every plasma, every neutron, every electron. Without it doesn't exist. You look for physicality to confirm the existence, he looks by not having physicality to confirm his power. And if you look, when you look at the shape, the size, the dimension of everything else outside it, what do you see? Balance, perfection. You don't see a little bit of the Gans over here and a little bit in the middle and the others spread equally. Waters, which create the boundary to it, what we call the transition, still perfect, all in balance, all in perfection. When you look at the whole center, in the center of a ball, with its correct conduct, everything is in order. That's a sign of the Creator, with not being, not having, not possessing, still being to be generous, to give and to correct, and to connect. You've been looking for the soul of the Creator, and it's there, you've been blind to it. And it's within your soul. If you look in a dynamic reactor, you have that ball, which is your skull. You have that elements of the material, which up to now you kept the zinc or copper, which is the direction of the emotion layer. You call it blood of the man. That water, is the brain of the man, and that center is the soul of the man. It's not that it's holding it in, it's holding with its power, the totality of the control. Now you know you have found your Creator. And this is the beauty of it. The smaller it is, the more powerful it becomes. But it has to conform and confirm within the structure of the dimension of the matter state of this environment. You've been looking for your Creator, you've been watching it and you're not. That's what I told you when I start teaching you next week. Many of you will commit suicide. Not in a physical dimension, in the lack of understanding of the knowledge. Now you understand the essence of creation. Not possessing nothing, detached, but at the same time with detachment, everything is attached to it by their choice, not the. Will knowledge seekers be locked up for operating autonomy? with power generation and flights, since the governments will 
perceive they are no longer a monopoly that provides their what a word. The governments will be your prime ministers, will be the first one using these at home. You know, I'll bring him one day, he's a good friend of mine. The, the many, many people who use uh, technology, uh, that travel it in diplomatic bags, a friend of mine to be an ambassador, and he was sitting on it. I said, what are you doing with it? He says, you know, this is the only thing which travels the whole world with me in the diplomatic bag. It was a, what I call, a system I made for him. And it was very amazing, he carried it everywhere. He says, without this, I don't exist. If the knowledge of the universe is feel the strength, how can we tap into this knowledge? You have already tapped into it. If you haven't, you deny your own existence. That's what the problem has been. Ah, oh, this is a beautiful way to teach. Oh, I can be here for years. You can't even mess it. I used to do this on the board of the NASA, what do you call it, a forum. And NASA thought I answered too good and I'm taking their operation, so they banned me. DARPA decided the knowledge does not need to be known by the NASA scientists. They might become wise, so they kept them in England. And they banned me. And now imagine, now the NASA has to go and work with the one he, they banned. It's very, very interesting. I used to answer, this is how I used to answer forums, but I used to write, now it's easy, you can answer with voice. This is one of the reasons I opened the Keshe Foundation Forum. I used to answer, but it became too much. Because I was spending more time writing, and my writing was not that good. So, this way is better. At least nowadays we can leave a voice message behind. I don't know how it works if I find it and give it. One of the most possible ways we'll see will be some governments will announce the process illegal, but there are too many people using it, it becomes legal and then those who get injustice done to them, they all escape to one country and the other ones come and say, you can't do this, I can't hold all your people, we better go back, we find a way, we give it all together. There's a possibility of immigration of the vast numbers, and my deepest sympathy goes to the American citizens, that there is no more go home, send their home. Uh, I wonder, when the population of America becomes more black than the whites, and they send the whites back home, the way we see it, because you Americans have made a luxury life, so they want what was stolen from them. It's a very pretty, pretty um, situation coming up, if we decide to go next week. But it still depends. We might even teach it from NASA headquarters next week too. It says from YouTube, what is CW? I don't understand what is CW. We don't answer to initials. What is a DM tree? Can somebody tell me? The world that the world is so much initials depends what it means by DMT. What is a DMT molecule? Rick, help. 
your Wikipedia. Oh. It's a chemical substance that occurs in many plants and animals, and which in both a derivative and a structural analog of what is that? Okay, it can be consumed as a psychedelic drug. Oh, now I know, I know this one. Oh, oh my God. There's a bunch of drug people here. What's the purpose of this question? I prefer not to make a comment on this. I know, but there is something I don't want to talk about. Flynn has written, don't know, skip it. I know, I'm trying to not to talk about it, I understand fully what it is. People sometimes, I know exactly what it is, now I understand, I know the name now, I know what it is. Rick, can you open the molecular structure of DMT? Okay. I can hear you. You exist. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We've been quiet. I was part of it and I was reading it. You've been too quiet. That's like the autistic kid who was never autistic. He just kept quiet to. <laughs> yeah. Now you call me autistic. Yeah. Yes. You know That's good. Talking to him all the time. <laughs> it has rapid oxygen a short duration of action for the strap. Ah, uh, I know, I know this, this, I know the drug. Now it came back a lot of it. Um, okay, let's see. I'm not interested in that, I'm not interested. Can you, oh, it's me, I have to get rid of my question mark. When I don't hear it, then I switch. I think the governments gave up silencing me, so everything looks good. We talk too fast. Now they start planning what we're going to do when all these people land in our next door. Oh. Can you roll it up? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to roll it up. Can you roll it down? No. Go. I want to know above that picture, not below the picture. Go, go, go up, go up. Is that the maximum? Oh. One day is go out of my way. I have something which I don't need. Okay. Oh, go, 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 go. What happened? You went too far down. Go back all to the top of the page. No, you're going down. I want you to go up. 
okay. I just saw it's chemical bonding, binding with the, the molecular structure of it. It was there a second ago. Uh, can you come up with this molecular structure, not this one? Yes, go down. The bit there. Okay. Go, go, go down somewhere. We have to find it. So, uh, yeah. Stop, stop. C12H16N2. Where are you? Where do you see it? I'm looking. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, there. Yes. C12 and H16N2. And it would look uh, similar to this in the uh, structure window there. Structure. Yeah, can you go back to where we were? Where, go back down to where you were. You see it's 188. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it has a very low density, equal to gravity. About the same as water for the density, right? One gram per cubic centimeter. Water, water is gravity. That's why we call this, what the ocean, it was as a zero level. That, that's what equal to more or less one G. A sea level you stand in one, so it's near gravity. So now, if you look 188 to that, you understand what the gravity, what is the condition, that's why you feel this way. Any other question? I put a question in there, um, asking if you can explain oh, no, more. I got, no, I got your answer, I got your voice, I gave up on the writing. <laughs> well, so I, I have to go back to, can you put the question back in again, please? Just wait. Well, wait, 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 I have to get rid of something else. What is the chat? All participants. Oh, you put everything plastered in there. Okay, now I understand. Can you comment on the residue? Okay. What's the next one? It's a drug. NHT and Well, which one the question you put in now? Um I put in can you explain more about, about what, you, what said you said earlier? The difference between doing what you like and doing what is correct. And you mentioned that, uh, I'm just thinking in, in sort of in general, or what did you specifically mean? Like, um, can you give some examples of what it is that we're doing as humans, doing what we like when we should be doing what is correct? What has happened a lot of us, um, have taken, the wrong path. We think what we like, we do, and it's the right thing to do. If you are aware of your wrongdoing, it allows you to always be conscious of it, and you know how it needs to be corrected. If you do what you like, and just even know the consequence of it, and you say, okay, it doesn't matter, whatever I do. So, we got to do what we like, which means we have the freedom. But, doing what is correct, means you have conscious. This is one of the biggest problem with the humanity. And not realizing this. 
if you are, you can, you have a total freedom to do, as long as you don't harm something else, as long as you don't damage even yourself. Then, you become collectively all the time aware of what you're doing is the correct things to do. We do a lot of things because we like to do it. But it's very much like mountain climbing. If you go climbing a mountain and you don't do it the right way, you like to do it, but if you don't know how to do it the correct way, you fall and you break your neck. That's all it is. Life is a mountain we climb. And if you climb it the correct way, we get to the pinnacle. And if you don't, you fall a little bit down and you pick up yourself, and you do what you like to do, but then you go a little bit further when you fall back to the As simple as that. There should be no restriction on man, or any creatures, not to do what, but to do something he doesn't like. We call it the slavery. We call it to be enforced on. But, if you like to do it, and it's the correct way, there should be no problem to do it. Man has too much problem with himself. Somebody I don't know says, what will be the first steps for humanity to keep somehow no chaos when there are no more borders? I don't think there'll be chaos. The only problem is, would the governments now use this chaos or this no border to do what they wanted to do? This is the problem. And this is what it comes. There will be a chaos, because there's a lot of injustices has been done. And it's the human uh, behavior to take revenge, or take what he thinks is his. My biggest fear is for the Israelis and the Palestinians, what they do to each other. My, one of my biggest fears is, the man who we slave now, wants the freedom of the slavery, of the fruit of the slavery of his ancestors, would we send her home? Or would they send us home? But unfortunately, there is not enough space to home we were came up from, to accommodate what they send back home. The, the strength of the anarchy comes out of how fast the leaders step down from their position, and allow it just government to come into operation. It is a very, very strange position. If you look into the British government by British law, they try not to at least keep Prime Ministers, which are Church of England, so Catholics or whatever, but all the advisors to British government, which Applicated war, always have been Jews. And now with this guy yesterday, we got a new one in. Mr. Levy, senior advisor to the new British Prime Minister, that smells of a lot of blood. And that's what I told you. If it gets that bad, we come in. Historically, what we see in the past few decades, Whenever senior advisors become of Jewish descent in Britain, we see big problems. The little guy out of nowhere tries to dictate to a bigger power. 
and this is one of my fears, and that's what I told you, uh, things we see, we consider everything. And uh, this is one of the things which is, concerns me. Can you please freeze all military actions immediately? Why should I? Now you have the knowledge, make it, you don't need to freeze it, you can do everything, no. You can only fight when you have borders. You don't have any borders. If you are a very, very good man, you remember the first thing I taught you when I showed you how to make the first MAGRAP system? Make one for everyone you make yourself, for your neighbor. And ask your neighbor, teach him how to do it. And tell him, when you make one for yourself better than mine, give it to the neighbor next door. Then, in no time, it will be there. This knowledge will be spread very fast, there is no, no option. But no option. And so the beauty of it is, um, Governments will not collapse. Governments will come to understand that there is a new game in town, that we all need to be governed by one structure. And because, in a way, they have no more authorities of what they claim to be they're in charge of. As I call it, they've been in charge of a prison to keep everybody in it, we call it the borders. If you look at a nation, it's nothing but a prison. We lock our people in, and we do whatever we like with them in that prison, because we are in charge. And these prison masters have to move on. When you open as one nation, there is no need for it, there is no other things. And in that process, um, the peace comes with it. As long as there is nobody claiming to be the king, to be the president, to do what I like, you cannot send no one home. It's, it's a very interesting time, it's an amazing interesting time when I start releasing this technology. And it's no use killing me in the next few days or whatever, because I deliberately spread the knowledge. Those of you who've been in touch with me on one the one teaching in past 20 days, you carry peace of possible. And all of you together, you carry the totality of the possible. Including the guy who thinks I take too long. I'm too patient. I gave you the key. Understand it. Where are we? Which question did I need to answer? Okay. We have a tank Peggy. I don't know why we are thanking Peggy for about thanking Peggy. Um, man is afraid to let go of his autonomy, his freedom, to do what he wants without how could it be? Man is afraid to be conquered, enslaved. You know something, in a way, this conquering and enslaving, the enslaving has two meaning, and being conquered has two meaning. We don't agree who conquer us, and we don't agree who enslave us, or we go to be conquered and to be enslaved. We call it love. We call it our children. We call it, we fall with a woman, love in love with a woman, and we like to be conquered and to show, show how much we love, and we enslave to make sure we do everything that she or he likes. So, in reality, man doesn't mind being enslaved and be conquered, but depends by whom and what and what is in it for him.
Very interesting. We never been, we can never be, we are a social structure in a physical dimension. And this is part of the habit of our souls. Our souls are social. There should be no chaos if we understand the greater transition we are, or accept it. I made this recently with different groups of people, show crisis, misunderstanding of thoughts of what people believe. It's the way we look. Can you delete that bar, please? You cannot put any barcode unless we put for teaching. You cannot promote yourself and your work here. Can you please take it out? Uh, we can't remove comments from in the chat, Mr. Kish. Okay. But um, we just, uh, yeah, that I've seen that video. It's okay, but it's got a lot of copyright issues. Um, can you, we if we get play one it more, deal with it. if you get one more, just delete it, to block the gentleman. Mr. Kish, are there any bad emotions? And how does emotion play in our soul elevation and development? Should we only feel good emotions or bad emotions have their part too? Everything has a bad part. If it's a good emotion, you're a happy dog. If you're a bad emotion, you're an angry cat. But it comes, we need one to understand the other, but what do we decide on emotion? What is bad for you is good for me, but we have to evaluate it against our own feeling. Do what you like, if your conscious is comfortable with it, but the battle is being fought within. Very much so. Um, it's being aware of, being part of, which is the important thing. And it brings you to the point of how much you evaluate or you value your conscious. We try to bring a lot of things in order, but in so many ways, why do we need to do that? Why our conscious is so important to us? Because it's behavior of our soul. What is the time limit? I have to finish and within next 10 minutes I have a meeting I have to go to. Um, there is a voice of the God. Good yes. morning, good afternoon, good evening. Why can't you write like others? You have no I did it. How I come did everybody it. else writes? And because your voice is, uh, at least now we can speak to one another. Why writing? We pretend I can't hear you. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you probably that was, used to doing that. <laughs> that was that was easy, wasn't it? Hello, I can't hear you. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Telephone line is bad. Hello. <laughs> Mr. Kesha, I would love to share a picture with you. Because, <coughs> um, Why does she get these kind of privileges? I don't. I just I just uh, try to pictures speak do you want to share? What do you want to uh, do? It's a picture about uh, aircraft, which is uh, creating the Big Bang, as we say in the sky. Oh, we've seen that one. That's, uh, can, can you, cr cr that's crossing you, the sound barrier. Yes, but have you seen the beauty of it? And can you maybe expand a little bit more on this it? This is well-defined uh, well science. I've seen it, you posted it somewhere else too. But this is a known knowledge, we know why it happens. It comes from the compression of the air molecules. Because you have a moisture. No, we don't need a picture, we know about it. We all know that that's uh, what you it's call like it. 1950s technology when they were finding out about that. This is a well-defined knowledge. 
Is there was a picture in Wikipedia if you want a picture of it. It's She's got a, one, sure. It is what we have not learned or understood from that. You picture. see, we learn a lot, we know a lot, but the thing is, once you go through the light barrier, you get very much the same thing. Well, let's have a look at maybe at the um, site briefly. I know you only have a couple of minutes here, but there is a picture that might be uh, appropriate. Uh, yep. Let me get it up here quick. From Wikipedia. Campus Sci Education Teaching. She's got the picture, you see? Yeah, well, her, hers is, I don't think it's copyright free. The ones from Wikipedia are copyright free. You right, see the, yeah. um, the picture of the jet, and that's the, the picture of it, what it looks like. Yeah, this, this is, yeah. So this, this is, is interesting, stuff. maybe in relation to what you were just saying. This shows the three stages. The, uh, um, the, the subsonic is the first one. The... Um, uh, Mach 1 would be the second uh, picture, and then supersonic is the third one, where you have these shock waves that occur. And it reminds me of what maybe spacecraft travel might look like in some ways, maybe in the light range or something. Um, Plasma. We, we have seen these many times in the space, and we thought that UFOs where in fact the light here, because it's a matter state, you see it as a cloud. The ones which comes in a light, you see it uh, when you, you cross the speed of light, you see it as a flashes of light. Um, you, um, you see these in some of the videos, but people don't understand. You see, light comes on and then disappears and another light comes on, but there is nothing to... It's just, these are the old fly, old fly systems mankind will most probably created, that they try to, not to land, but to be in flight condition, but they have to reach a speed of light to, then they break down and they go back up again. It's like you go subsonic, sub, again, again, back to just supersonic. And you see, in a lot of pictures, you see them coming, but nobody ever understood. Now you understand for the first time why you see these splashes of light in sequences, especially if you watch some of the movies over ocean seas, you see a lot of these lights just come on. It's trying to keep, but they cannot keep, and they go sub-light, and then they have to go over light. But they, they stay on a visible condition. And you see, this is the matter state. That light you see is the interaction of the, the speed with the gravitational magnetic field of the Earth. In the field, in the strength of the light. We see these, what do you call it, steams, I call it circles, in the matter state. Because the molecules of the whole atmosphere is crushed together. One pushes in and as it goes out, is reduced again, so it's like two discs pushed together, one before and one after. If you go back to it, Rick, you see it in the speed. You see, it is it is like two discs coming together. It's uh, it's a central pressure point. One is after one. It drops again below, and then it got to pick up to go supersonic. When you hear it the first time, it's frightening with you, as you hear when it passes the speed of sound, the boom. Okay, thank you, Mr. Cash, for that uh, bonus question there. So, do you have to get going now, or...? I have, I have a very, very, very important meeting. I have to go. Give you five more minutes before I leave. One more question, Mr. Kesh. It's here. You had your chance. <laughs> no, no, it says, no. I wish the Hebrew-speaking people 
to take responsibility for all the wrongdoing we have done in the past and present. So we can move in humility, peace, love, joy, freedom, and equity, equality, and to join the peace process with the rest of the planet. I say to you, Shalom. In so many ways, mm, uh, this is written by the Hebrew speaking member of the Universal Council. Uh, peace, creating peace is conditioned to understand we all done wrong. And uh, so, what do we do? Where do we go to what extent we accept the, the realities of what we do? Um, it's so many ways the mankind from now on will come to the point of forgive and forget. Because forgiving and not forgetting will bring the situation what we have with the Armenians in Armenia and the Turks. Forgetting and not forgiving somewhere down the line will really come back to haunt us. The best thing for mankind from this point is to start with a clean slate, with clean sheet. We have to, but my biggest fear is how much the rulers of the governments will create a condition. I think what's going to happen if it comes to overall, people will turn on Rothschild family heavily. When this position comes, the Rothschilds and the Illuminati will be answerable to the conduct of present and the past they've done. And the people they put in governments to create these conditions. Mr. Bolton will not have much peace. He, he will deny everything. We saw one of the world leaders when he was in power, what he did, and we know where they found him, in a rat hole. And then, claiming he's done nothing wrong. These people who have incited so much pain on mankind, will be handled by the, by the people, accordingly. But to me, most of those who have crossed the line, and they thought it's their rights, <sighs> will, will have a lot to, to answer to their own conduct. He cannot say, I didn't do it. Um, we cannot go to the point of um, doing and releasing whatever we want and do whatever is in our power to do. Um, people will keep you accountable, what they call it, uh, accountable what they've done. We've seen this now in the hand of what happened to the uh, governor of an island. People will force these conditions from now on. We see the beginning of it. It's not so easy to do whatever you like and just get away with it, but world leaders have to create a condition of calm. That's their job. The, the, the job from now on is not to create wars, they try to create a condition of peace, that how we can solve these problems. How we can balance the books, as we say.
Um, she put her question in her, she says, so I typed my question, you said that the involvement through the Universal Council would need to be increased, what is your advice please? And she sticks on the top to make sure we know who she is. Okay, she's from the Universal Council member of Netherlands, yeah, speaking language, Stalin. Um, the Universal Council will take over the ruling. The Universal Council members will start understanding they are counselors, they are not governors. They should understand that is their responsibility to advise, to bring equality. The Arab speaking and Hebrew speaking should be mediator between the two cultures. As I said, one Arab speaking um, Universal Council does not make you for all the God knows 1820 Arab nations because each one has a different culture, different speaking. So the culture has to be with its language. Like we have a Universal Council member in Spanish, just because the Spanish in, in Mexico speak Spanish does not carry the culture. So with these are what we have to understand and uh, in due time those who see the souls is there to serve humanity can pick the flag of their nations in the language they have. It's, it's Australian is speaking English does not feel and speak the same English just because he uses the same word as the Englishman, not even as the New Zealand man. So this is how the members of the council will change in coming time, but that has to spend this to be with the soul of the man. It says from Chun Singh, we generally must pre-approve links that are shared in the chat. Also, video we show here must be pre-approved and copyright free. This is something we have informed, people can't just stick what they like, some people misunderstand uh, that this has to be kept in that way. Okay, what I'm going to say, I have to leave because I have a, um, I've got to meet some friends, which are important. We've been trying to bridge with these friends for some time, and it's important for me to be, um, to meet and to try to bring uh, some sort of sanity to the insane life of the world at the moment. But every now and then it's good to have these meetings and we pretend we don't hear that we can read many questions. Uh, thank you very much for today and wish that everything can go wrong on this planet. It goes so bad, that we have to put it right. But, we still have to see, how bad those who are bad, are going to make it. It's complicated. Sometimes it's bad is good. But this one is bad, it's very bad. The worse you get, the better present you get. But it's not in the hand of the man, it's the hand of the leaders of the man. And this is the beauty with it. I have to leave, I have to make my way for this meeting. Very good. Thank you very much. And hopefully we, we managed to breach that level. Sorry about the communication. We carried on so much that the governments gave up and let us have a peaceful back end. <laughs> Yes, thank you, very much thank you very thank much you. indeed. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for bye -bye. another wonderful knowledge <laughs> workshop. Thank you. Okay. Well, set things to a close today's 286 Knowledge Seekers Workshop. Is there anything else we need to announce or um, talk about before we go here? We have what, one more day of, uh, of uh, private teachings or Thursday and Friday at least. And then there'll be a break until September 16th, I think it is. 
but we will continue with the knowledge seekers workshops and of course it sounds pretty exciting for our next week's workshop and uh, we'll find out then the materials list <clears throat> what that is specifically and other um, answers to our questions that may have come up through all this but it depends a lot on the what proceeds in the in between time the next week as well so stay tuned and uh, we'll see everyone this time uh, uh, same knowledge seekers workshop next week that will be the 287th. Rick? Yes, Caroline. Yes, sorry. Before you go out, please, can you announce that this is the last week of the term, please, so that the students worldwide know? Yes, I mentioned that. I think um, that it's the last two days of the uh, private teaching. And then there'll be a break until September 16th when the new semester will start up. So it's actually a good opportunity for people to become a new student in the uh, Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute private teachings. And uh, sometimes it takes a period of time to get cleared through and ready to go. So you, you can apply now for the September uh, semester. Otherwise, uh, those will have a, a break for that period of time. It was in the private teachings. There are also uh, public teachings uh, in languages that will continue on there, I understand as well. And the uh, One Planet, One Nation, One Race uh, meetings will go on break also. Right, yeah, that's important to understand. So that won't be happening next Tuesday, as usual, it will be um, September 17th, I believe. Yeah. And the reactor well. group will continue, Rick, won't it? I was going to say thank you, John, for filling my, filling my mouth with the words. Um, yes, the plasma reactor group will carry on. As long as I'm still standing, as, as long as I'm the last man standing here. So yes, we'll try to carry on with that. Okay, I think that's it for today. Um, also, the new uh, Plasma Times is available. The July issue uh, uh, is just available on the website, uh, Cash Foundation website. So people should check that out. There's lots of good articles. And of course, the Plasma Scientific Journal entries, there's three of those. And a testimonial and uh, lots of nice pictures and some great uh, information from Mr. Kesh and others. So do check that out. And that's about it, I guess, for now. Ah, one thing I can mention before we go, um, there's an important process that's, that people can help with if you have some time and the inclination, which is the process of indexing, what's called indexing, which is basically finding uh, uh, times and topics for various um, um, teachings from Mr. Kesh over the last years. And you might take on a workshop and do the indexing for that workshop, which just means every time you, uh, you notate a new topic and the time for that topic and a few details about it. And um, that gets entered into a database with all the indexes. And eventually it'll be a, a really good way to search through the vast amount of material that we have from the Keshe Foundation. So anyone can contribute to do that. It's relatively easy. And there's a, 
a site set up for that in the KF Wikipedia uh, that links to the uh, indexing page. And I don't know if I have that offhand, but uh, if anyone has trouble finding it, they can get a hold of me or somebody else in the Cash Foundation, they can point you in the right direction. All right, I think that's good for now. Thank you everyone for attending the 286 Knowledge Seekers Workshop for Thursday, July 25th, 2019. This is Rick Cramond out for now, and thank you, Flint, for taking us out with the final video here. Hello. We are the Keshe Foundation. Our mission is to bring peace on Earth and join humanity with the universal community. We wish and work to bring man as equal to all beings in the universe. By teaching plasma science and technology equally to everyone, no one is left out and no one is abused due to lack of knowledge. By donating to us, you can help achieve this goal. keshefoundation.org forward slash donate.